Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update. Well, tonight, Saturday, November 8th, around 10 p.m. Mountain Time 2025, a com complex jet structure. That's how dumb these people are, emanates from 3i Atlas. We now have up to five tails on this object. It's an electric comet, folks. Uh, and we'll talk more about that in just a moment. GFS model showing amazing snow totals for the Northeast, the Great Lakes region, and the West. Buckle up, Buttercup, and keep calm. It's boom time. Heavy snow for five Michigan areas. Winter storm watch and snow forecasts are here. The big snow is coming next week, but overnight there will be a spattering of snow. And a quick look at TornadoHQ.com live shows all of the precipitation across the U.S. and all of that snow moving through the Great Lakes. Currently, zero severe weather warnings. Good news there. And now the full forecast. We're tracking a couple of storms across the country currently. We've got showers along with a few strong to severe thunderstorms are expected from the Great Lakes, New England, and southward into the Ohio and Tennessee Valleys. In the wake of this system, a stronger storm is expected to track from the Pacific Northwest into the plains and through the eastern U.S. this weekend. Strong winds, showers, and a larger drop in temperatures are expected this weekend and into Monday. We've got frost and freeze warnings across the south. Heed those warnings. High winds for south Texas and winter storm watches and warnings up in the Great Lakes, the Adirondacks, and a little smattering here in uh, Wyoming and the Dakotas. And the models. Well, let's take a look at the MLS. Let's move it through here. Here's your Sunday. And it's going to be snowing in Mish, as well as the Northeast through Monday and Tuesday. More snow for the Northeast. A system will move into the Pacific Northwest midweek, Wednesday and Thursday, bring heavy mountain snow all the way down to the South Sierras and into our region, which may open up the Southern Ski Resorts. Good news here through November 15th. Here is the 16th and the 17th. All of that snow in Michigan will be washed away with rain until another system right behind it, right here, Third week of November brings, well, some significant snow to the Northeast and the Great Lakes to end November with a boom. Total accumulated precipitation looks like this, and total snowfall looks epic. Absolutely spectacular. And Al can suck it. Get your hole, Al! No bunt cake! No bunt cake for Al. Seismic update. We've got a rumbler that just showed up here in Yamada, Japan, a surface quake at 5.1. Probably not very effective. Overall, very low-level activity worldwide. As we're waiting for Kilauea to go boom in a big way with the 36th lava fountaining episode, we're just waiting. Every day it pulses a little more, but we haven't got the big show just yet. And according to the scientists... They say that these precursory lava flows show that the fountaining event will happen by November 11th. We're going to live stream again tonight. And that brings us to Worldwide Volcano News. First on the list, Santa Guito to 15,000 feet. We've got Sakurajima erupting today to 10,000. Sangay to 25,000. Raventador, 15,000-foot blast there. Fuego to 16,000. San Gay to 22,000. Santa Guito to 14,000. Planchon, Petaroa, puffing to 15,000-foot today. Ibu to 6,000 feet. Sabancaya, no eruption. Semenu, who knew now you do an eruption, was reported today. Planchon, Petaroa, 15,000-foot there. Fuego to 17. Volcanic ash at Raventador. Yes, the next lava fountaining episode at Kilauea is happening anytime soon, and it will be the 36th since last Christmas. Popo, ongoing volcanic ash emissions. Sukunajima, 10,000 foot blast there. Semadu, 15,000 foot possible volcanic ash at Sangay. Volcanic ash reported at Nevada de Ruiz, crashing Ninikov to 9,000 foot today. And wrapping up the list is Santiguito with some possible 
volcanic ash. Space weather, Earth facing quiet as king. The last 24 hours, flaring has stopped as a major sunspot group faces Earth. No one can explain this phenomenon, but good news for us here. Geomagnetic storming is calming down as we're waiting for the next CME to reach Earth, and that should arrive sometime in the next 24 to 36 hours. The three-day geomagnetic forecast is spicy, with G1 expected and G2 geomagnetic storming on the 10th. And that's all care to these CMEs, one after another, that are popping off the sun. This one already hit, uh, and we're just waiting for that one, the 9th or the 10th. So there we go there. Quick look at telemetry, and you can see why all things are quieting down. The BZ has gone silent. It is now neutral. Density is dropping. Plasma speed is quieting off here at 600. If we see this push south, we will go back into geomagnetic storm. Now let's talk about 3i Atlas. They're claiming there is a complex jet structure. I can tell you that that's gobbledygook and nonsense. Nothing is jetting from this rock. These are plasma discharge features. We've got the standard tail, the ion tail, another electrical tail, and an anti-tail. All of these are electrical phenomenon. You can see one, two, three here. You can see several of them here in this new imagery. No, not a spaceship. And all of that nonsense comes from this D-bag from Harvard, Avi Loeb, an absolute useless scientist that should probably retire soon because the amount of disinformation he's sharing with the public is insane. This guy has no business being an astrophysicist, in my opinion. And we break it all down tonight. On Magnetic Reversal News over at Rumble with a one and a half hour exclusive debunking every single thing that Avi Loeb has ever said. We talk about all of the unexplainable features of 3i Atlas using the electric comet model. We're going to do science. We're not going to do science fiction like Avi Loeb, who apparently hasn't read a single paper in a decade, in my opinion. A man dies after slipping and falling off the edge of the Grand Canyon. Yeah, stop taking those selfies, folks. Absolutely not worth your life. And it's a triple header tonight at 9 p.m. Well, 7.30 is the premiere of the debunking of Avi Loeb. And then at 9, we'll be over at Magnetic Reversal News on YouTube for Belia's Comet. Did it cause the Great Fire of 1871 and the Peshtigo Fire and many other fires? We will go over the electric comet hypothesis once again to make it very clear that Avi Loeb is full of dookie. <laughs> and that's a boom to knowledge. Hit, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. That's the best thing you can do to help us grow. Share this video as well. And be safe. We love you. And that is a boom. Make sure you check out all the videos tonight and get up to speed on what's actually happening in our cosmos. Yeah, <laughs>